Hey guys, my name's Daryl and welcome to our off-road camper build. This week, we're gonna weigh her. There's been a lot of questions about what does she weigh, so let's weigh it and see what it does weigh. I'm also calculating my final ball weight before I put any um, load in it, which is clothes or kitchen stuff or stuff in the fridge. We're gonna weigh it today without the fridge in. There's some stuff I need to still add, but we'll go over it that later. But first off, I've been playing with the spring packs in it and I've got to a point where I'm really chuffed with how they are. Let's have a look at what the original springs packs were on the original army trailer and what I've done to these. Uh, it's been quite cheap, it's worked out really well and I'm more than happy about it. So let's go and have a look at that. Now this is the original spring pack that was on the camper trailer chassis too. As you can see with this, this army trailer, um, without any load in it, the springs have sagged enough where we're just off the um, load carriers at the bottom. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight six millimeter leaves in it. It's a nice spring pack. Um, on this trailer, it could be a little bit heavy unloaded. However, with the constant load of the camper, I wasn't really happy with it. But we'll go and have a look at what I've done. And this is what we've ended up with on the camper trailer. The military wrap on the second leaf of the original spring pack we've kept, and the leaf further down I've kept. From then on, I've put in um, some eight millimeter springs on a spring set that I purchased off eBay. I think they were $100 a pair, so they were cheap as. Um, these eight millimeter springs, the, the complete spring pack was supposed to have a 1500 kilo rating. However, by not using all of the springs, we've brought that rating down. Um, it's provided a bit more arc in the original spring pack, but mostly it's stiffened up the um, load carrying of it. Now with the original spring pack, the altered spring packs raised the camper by probably an inch, inch and a half. Um, but the main thing is that with the original spring pack, if I rock the camper, it would rock and keep rocking. With this altered spring pack, it rocks but stops as soon as I stop rocking the camper. So that'll be good for stability. Um, really chuffed with that. And it's been a fairly low cost option. As I said, it was $100 for two complete springs, which I've separated. So without more to do, I think we'll weigh the camper and see what it weighs. Okay, so we've got the weights, and we have, we've got 265, 273, and 34 ball weight, which is a total of 573 kilos. So going by those figures, we need another 20 to 30 kilos on the ball. Um, must admit though, that's a really nice weight, isn't it, to be at, at this point. There's a, more to go in it. We're gonna add at least 50 kilos, but anyway, let's talk about the ball weight at the moment. Whilst I don't have the fridge in the fridge box today, I do have a jerry can, a front runner plastic jerry can with 20 litres of water. And the reason I've put that in there is that that's gonna live on the other side of the camper. And I wanted to give a weight with a full water load instead of what most camper manufacturers do where they weigh it without load. Um, because I'd prefer to travel with that load if I can. Uh, because we don't know where we're gonna end up and we may be somewhere where there's no water. Um, I think a lot of camper manufacturers don't put water in because it gives you uh, the premise of a light load. However, when you load it up with all that, it's like, oh, I didn't realize that it'd take so much, especially when you've got a 100 litre water tank or a 40 litre water tank. But anyway, the jerry can will live on the other side of the camper at the front of the box. So that'll add to the ball weight anyway. Now, with that 20 to 30 kilos that we need, the fridge empty weighs 15 kilos. So we're at least 
or more than half of what we need. And then I've got a battery that I've got to purchase. Now, I've been holding off buying this battery because with COVID, they seem to have been fluctuating in price. I've been looking at a 100 amp lithium battery. They weigh about 12 kilos. Um, and then I've got a mount for it. That's probably a kilo or two. So we're probably looking at 14 to 15 kilos, say, for the battery mounted up. Um, and then I've got some more electronics to go in the box, which looks really good, really excited about. We may do that next episode. Um, but as you can see, with all these things that we're adding, the ball weight's gonna be spot on. I'm so chuffed about where it is. And, and then when we pack, some of the stuff that goes in the fridge makes the fridge quite heavy. Um, we're packing clothes that go in the cupboards and, you know, some food and the like in the galley. Uh, I'm, I, I have a feeling that it will all even itself out, the packing. But anyway, however, for today's effort, I think we're bang on with the figures where we need to be. It's a really good thing to be able to look at and go, yes, it's all adding up. Um, but yeah that answers where we are with the camper at the moment sub 600 kilos got to be happy with that especially with 30 kilos of air conditioning hanging off the top um, so anyway guys i hope that's answered your questions i hope you have enjoyed that and we'll see you next time on my off-road camper build bye now